Hey, what's going on YouTube? Wolf Knight Con here. Uh, I'm at work, just kind of bored. And I want to just uh, talk about something that I have that I just want to share with you guys. Uh, I got it uh, about three years ago, three to four years ago. Uh, it's a tattoo, um, and it's just something that means a lot to me, so I just wanted to share that with you guys. Uh, so this tattoo, uh, I got it because at the time there was a girl that I was talking to who... Uh, she also had a couple tattoos, and um, I didn't have one at the time, so I really wanted to get one. And just like what, how it always should be, and what was suggested, I should try to find something that has meaning to me. And so, of course, I went home, and it took me about a week to try to figure out what exactly I wanted to get. And uh, I, I uh, finally chose it. Now, before I show it, <clears throat> um, it doesn't look bad. It actually looks really good. I love it. Um, but what I chose to end up doing was uh, Chinese kanjian. And of course, you might ask, why would you put Chinese letters or symbols or your know, Chinese kanjian on your body being that you're American and I can't speak Chinese? Uh, there was actually a backstory to that. So, um, <clears throat> one of my favorite uh, cultures is the Chinese culture. I am. Um, I just I love the way everything looks. I love uh, the festivals they have. Uh, I always wanted to go there, and I still do want to go there and uh, visit it and uh, stay there for a few weeks. Uh, I never had got the chance uh, to see what it's really like, you know, on a vacation there. <clears throat> but uh, I grew up watching uh, all kinds of uh, uh, Asian movies. Uh, mostly just like Jackie Chan, Jet Li, uh, stuff like that. And uh, no, that's not where I base all my Chinese likings. Uh, it's just, you know, I, I relate to them. And I know they're not all Chinese. They're probably different ethnicities. Uh, but it's, you know, from that general area. Uh, and I know different languages, Chinese conjure their standard, traditional. Uh, there's Japanese, and they all kind of have similar resemblance, but they all have different meanings. Uh, but I got very fortunate uh, when I picked mine and I Google searched it and the translator gave me the symbols and I had it done. Of course, no, I had no prior knowledge if it was accurate. Uh, I was just hoping that it was. But luckily, uh, I worked in retail, so I worked at Best Buy. And working at Best Buy, you get, you know, travelers and people that come in from different countries. And I actually had... Uh, people from China come and uh, look to buy things and uh, there I didn't have to have it covered up so while I was there they saw my arm and actually had asked if I spoke Chinese and of course I said no so uh, yeah it just, it's kind of one of those things to where um, I got something that I can't really go and say hey this is I, I know I could read it I could read the language I could speak it now it's just uh, something that I, I think looks cool and I like it. Uh, but they translated it. They read it to me. And uh, thankfully, it, it said exactly what I wanted to, to say. And uh, so that, that verification was uh, very relieving. Um, but uh, the meaning behind it is a lot more uh, than just simply Chinese conjun. So I'm going to show you what it looks like. It's going to be kind of a weird angle because I don't, from how you're supposed to read it, uh, to how I'm going to show it is kind of different. So, uh, this is it right here. So, as you can see, it goes from the wrist almost up to the, the bend of my arm. And it's five symbols. <clears throat> the five symbols, if you, were, if you were actually to read it, it would actually be like this. You would read it down. It's Chinese traditional or standard or whatever you want to call it. And uh, what it stands for is alpha male. And the, the first three that you see there is alpha, and the last two is male. And like I said, I did get this translated from someone from China that were at work and they read it. Uh, so that's pretty, uh, pretty cool to me. <clears throat> and uh, the meaning behind alpha male, uh, like I, the video I did of when I uh, talked about how I came up with the name Wolf Knight Khan, uh, wolf is my favorite animal. And uh, when you think of a wolf and a wolf pack, you have the alpha male, which is the leader of the pack, right? 
Uh, so the alpha male, uh, being the leader of the pack, I look at as the head of the family. He has the followers, he has his beta, he has the alpha female, which I consider my wife as. And so that's how I, I correlate it to my life. You know, we have a family, uh, we plan on having a kid someday, and so I look at myself as the alpha male of my family. Now, I know alpha male also translates to a douchebag, <laughs> to people that don't like him because he thinks he's better than everyone else. And in certain cases, I am. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, no, it, it, that's the funny thing. So, like, working in retail, when people ask me, you know, what does it say? And I say alpha male. As I'm selling them things, it's a very funny conversation to have. But I get to explain to them, you know, the, uh, the actual meaning behind uh, what it stands for and why I have it. And it's something I'm going to live by for the rest of my life. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be the, the head of my family. I'm going to, you know, lead and guide them, protect them, and uh, help them grow. And uh, that's basically um, uh, the biggest meaning of life. So uh, that's, the, that's the only tattoo I have. I do want to get another. I'm, I'm trying to work out something with my sister uh, to make me do a, uh, a brother-sister type tattoo. Which would be pretty cool. So, uh, if you guys like tattoos, hit a like. Uh, if you have some tattoos, hit a like. Uh, if you think I should get more tattoos, hit that like button. And uh, if you guys are new to watching it, please subscribe. I'm going to try to get more videos out. And then, uh, yeah, we'll uh, keep going from there. So, thanks for tuning in, guys. And you guys have a great day.